Hey everybody, welcome back to another Circuit Basics video. I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you around the new Arduino 101. I just got this in the mail a couple days ago, and I'm really excited to start playing around with it. It looks really similar to the Uno, but there's some differences and a few add-ons that make it much more powerful, and a more advanced version of the Uno. As you can see, it's got the colorful Arduino packaging. First, let me just open up the box. 101 has a Intel Curry system on a chip and comes with built-in Bluetooth and a six axis accelerometer and gyroscope. Kind of struggling to get it out here. There we go. It's the exact same size as the Arduino Uno. Let me grab one real quick to compare the two. The main feature of the 101 is the Intel Curie processor. It's a 32-bit dual-core processor clocked at 32 megahertz. Here's the Bluetooth antenna. The 101 should be more powerful and faster than the Uno. The Uno's ATmega328 microcontroller is only 8-bit. One really nice thing about the 101 is the layout of the pins are exactly the same as the pins on the Uno. On the 101 there's actually two reset buttons. The button on top will reset the sketches and the one down here is the master reset pin. The reset pin on the Uno is the sketch reset pin. Let's take a look at the back of the board. Okay. There's a few other chips on the 101 besides the Curie processor. This right here is an 8-channel logic level converter. And there's three of these. And they're all connected to the GPIO pins. I'm not sure about this, but that may mean that the 3.3 volt pins can be shifted up to 5 volts and vice versa. Let me know in the comments if you've heard anything about that. Over here we have the ICSB header, which has the SPI serial communication pins. The UNO's ICSP header is in the same location. Over here we have a 10-pin JTAG header. This is the Digital Signal Processing Sensor Hub. The UNO doesn't have any JTAG pins, but it does have a set of ICSP pins you can use to access the 18 mega 16 u microcontroller. Now the UNO has a 16 MHz crystal, or clock, but the clock for the 101 is built into the Intel Curie. One major difference between the Arduino 101 and the UNO is the operating voltage. They can both be supplied with the same 7 to 20 volt power supply, but the 101 operates at 3.3 volts, while the UNO operates at 5 volts. Another difference is the pulse width modulation pins. The 101 has four pulse width modulation pins, but the UNO has six. This chip here, the ATmega 16U2, is another microcontroller that holds the UNO's flash memory and is also what writes programs to the UNO's main microcontroller through the USB port. The flash memory on the 101 is right here in this chip. Uh, 
and they both have the same USB Type-B plug. And since they're the same size, the 101 will fit into cases and mounts designed for the Uno. I'll show you. Here's the case I use for my Uno. and the 101 fits in there perfectly. Okay, well, hopefully that gave you a nice look into the new Arduino board. So now I'd like to show you how to get it up and running by loading a simple sketch. The 101 can run any Arduino sketch that you run on the Uno, but before you can run sketches on it, you need to install the Intel Curie Core. And I'll show you how to do that here. First, I'll just plug the 101 into my computer here. So in order to upload sketches to the 101, you'll need to have the Arduino IDE version 1.6.7 or later installed in your computer. We need to install the Intel Curie Boards Core with the Arduino Boards Manager. If you go to Tools, and to the board list, click board manager, you'll see a list of all the boards available to install. Scroll down until you find the Intel Curie board section. Click on this, then click install. And I sped this up in editing. The whole installation actually took about three minutes. Then it asks you to confirm the installation. All right, now that the core is installed, we need to select the board we want to use. So go back to your board list. And select Arduino 101. Now we should be all set to upload a sketch to the board. We're just going to try out the super basic blink sketch. It makes the LED on the board blink on and off. Now just upload. And I get this error that says waiting for device. But once I press the master reset button, that goes away. And the sketch runs. It's a little hard to see, but the LED right here is uh, blinking on and off. Alright, well, that's about it for this video, but stay tuned because I'll be doing a lot more videos on the 101, especially on how to set up the onboard Bluetooth, uh, the gyroscope, and the accelerometer. So be sure to subscribe and share it if you know someone else who would find this helpful. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.